To another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League round of 16 Group D. Bottom right hand corner, we got Radley starting as the Red Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we got Napoleon starting as the Blue Zerg. Radley having some success with the two barracks openers thus far, especially a lot of his opponents going the Nine Pool. And then Radley just pouring on the pressure and ending up with some really good success as far as the turnarounds. Um, this is, so I've got this game of the loser's bracket, a potential third game, I will say, as to not spoil the results of this game one way or the other. And then I got the final group, but I don't have the winner's bracket. So once again, we'll have to see what happens in the round of eight as far as who was able to advance through. In the meantime, Napoleon was initially making his overlord uh, take motions to the upper left, but now it looks like he's going cross map with it. Let's see if he opens up with a nine pool once again. I'll try to keep an eye on that. We have a supply depot being built alongside, so it doesn't look like Radley's going to go for a front door seal. Invader, that's what was blocking it. I wanted to call this map Impact for some reason, and it's not Invader either. It's Circuit Breaker. This is on Circuit Breaker, by the way, which just in case you want to see the map reveal, it looks like that. Where it's got the pool, whatever. I feel like the split minerals punish punish things a little bit because you got to be a little bit more diligent on those maps when you're uh, in those spaces when you're assigned. You can't just plop them down. We have a barracks being built towards the ramp. And it looks like that Overlord is going to get potential first scout. This time we l are going to see either an 11 hatch or a 12 hatch it looks like. Got that drone. Is this drone going to make its way? That'll let us know. Looks like it is, in fact, potentially going to be a 12. Oh, never mind. It was 11 hatch. I just missed the drone that made its way down there. So more of an economic opening. We have the double barracks opener for Radley once again. So wanting to play more aggressive in the opener. Rather going one racks into expansion. And sending out that initial scouting SCV. So as long as there is a Sutton Colony in sufficient time... Assuming Napoleon can get in position to scout this. Overlord positioning will actually be critical here. No drone scout making its way out. Looks like an Overlord top left. We do have gas and a spawning pool, which suggests we're going to go for Mutalisk play. Two Hatch Mutalisk is the uh, suggested gas timing. And Overlord spots that SCV making its way out. And actually, this Overlord's in no man's line without Zergling support right this second. So this could be, depending on how Radley wants to play this, he does have the two barracks. And he does have some marines that he could have worked with behind this. And he knows there's an overlord out here ramp side. So what he could do is, is he could wander out and pick off that overlord before... Kind of play it risky and assume that it wasn't a nine pool. I guess the nine pool previous game going to allow him, uh, going to cause him to play a little bit more defensively. SV able to wander up, get the scouts, going to see that gas in play. I think you can click on the Vespine Geyser to see how much has been extracted to get the timing of it as well. I'm not sure... Learned about that trick recently. Marines and SCVs making their way out. So Radley doing his characteristic early game aggression. Getting a little bit hung up. On that egg along the side. And let's see if... I don't know that that Overlord scouted it. And the Zerglings... So this is going to be, again, a tough defense. For Napoleon. Because he's got his Zerglings going the wrong direction. To scout this incoming aggression. However, that is going to give him an opportunity to go for a backstab. But we already have an SCV and two Marines potentially some additional SCVs on the ramp to defend the opposite side. So we'll see, it's going to be micro versus micro on both ends, the Overlord peeling back out upon not seeing the natural expansion. There's the defense creep colony, but too late. Also, again, a tech delayer at the natural expansion rather than at the main. And forcing a cancellation, which is a huge, huge damage. The in base third hatchery as well, and we're seeing Zerglings just now queued up, which means there's going to be a lot of dead drones here. And the Zerglings just trying to make their way back, and this is a lot of lost mining time. Brutal, brutal aggression from Radley, getting massive dividends versus Napoleon. He didn't even have to build that bunker, and he might. This might be it right here. The drones scattering towards the natural expansion. They're going to get another Overlord on top of it. Yikes. Nothing going right for Napoleon right now. And also starting to work away at that gas. As the Zerglings spawn, they're going to be spawning into fire. So, I don't know that Radley needs to chase these down. It looks like Zergling speed finally kicking up. He's going to get the surround, clean that up, but so much damage done. Go ahead and cancel that bunker. Eight drones remaining versus 17 from Radley. There are three bases up. That 
lair was delayed, command center being built behind it, and again, that overlord too far forward. So it's going to get taken out. Now Napoleon deep in the red and a bunker preventatively being built. Yeah, Napoleon is in emergency mode now as far as follow-ups. So he's got to go all in Zergling and two bunkers or even honestly the one bunker and a little bit of cruft in the form of a supply depot or something else in the way. Maybe a, you can even drop an additional barracks right there if you wanted to. But Academy's up. We got Engineering Bay on the way. The Zerglings trying to make their way up the ramp and get that surround. They don't have the surface area, so getting immediately rejected. And I think that is going to be GG. The Marines actually moving out and hunting. And actually, after killing these Zerglings, let's see if Radley opts to get aggressive because he could. He's got enough Marine. He doesn't need to, but he could is part of the problem. So now Napoleon in that situation where, okay, he's trying to go for a drone flood. To make things up but he's just taken so much damage okay now radley with the two medics gonna peel back out and napoleon doesn't have anything to spot this incoming army it looks like he was going for a drone flood to try to keep in it we have some fire bats being built behind us as well just in case some zerglings were able to get a backstab but napoleon in dire straits and is the, there should be a gg honestly as soon as the the marines are visible along this uh, slime edge right here. So creep colony getting dropped. Two creep colonies getting dropped. Still not going to be sufficient though. There's the stim. Focusing on the... Ooh, they're going to try to run by and get some drones. Yeah, great cheeses from Napoleon for the GG, the frustration. Calls it there. Two wrecks plan out for Radley. And he's going to advance to the final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.